Aid Launch Control, T-minus 60 seconds and counting. First aid's now pressurizing. We're coming up on the power transfer in a matter of seconds. This is when we switch to internal power aboard the vehicle. T-minus 50 seconds, we have the power transfer. The vehicle is internal. The complete vehicle is now pressurized. T-minus 40 seconds and counting. Our board, our status board still indicates all is well. T-minus 35. T-minus 30 seconds and counting, number one swing arm, now being retracted from the Saturn V vehicle. 25 seconds and counting. T-minus 20, still counting at this time. T-minus 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. We have ignition sequence start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Zero. We have commit. We have liftoff. Liftoff at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Five seconds into the flight, we're looking good. We have cleared the tower. We have Understand the tower. Understand tower, Chris. Houston Center assumes control. Pitch and roll program started. Our vehicle going now to an azimuth heading of 72 degrees. All five F-1 engines firing, uh, looking good. They're given a green light at this time from range safety. is completed now. Pitch profile still in progress. Uh, 40 seconds. Mark 45 seconds. Our vehicle well beyond the beach now. Our IP impact point uh, moving out well over water as desired. Mark 56 seconds. Our cabin pressure is relieving. Coming down now from a pad bay 16 pounds per square inch. Looking good. One minute, ten minute, uh, ten seconds coming up on a period of maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle. Still looking good. Mark, one minute, twenty-five seconds. Uh, pass through max Q. Still looking good. Now, ten nautical miles in altitude, heading out beyond the Earth's atmosphere. Uh, we're on our way. One minute, 45 seconds, 14 nautical miles in altitude, uh, 12 nautical miles downrange. Uh, velocity at this time, uh, 4,600 uh, feet per second and accelerating. Mark, two minutes, uh, Flight Director Cliff Charlesworth now polling members of this flight control team as to our status for staging, and uh, we're standing by. shut down. Our four outboard engines have shut down. Booster engineer reports ignition on our second stage. Our first stage will be falling away shortly. Now it's day's work done. Again, the greatest weightlifting effort ever. Mark two minutes, 50 seconds, 40 nautical miles in altitude, 70 nautical miles downrange. Stage has separated uh, this crucial timeline event right on schedule. <laughs> Telemetry data intermittent at this time, uh, standing by. Dynamics reports our trajectory is go at uh, this time. Bermuda has acquired our vehicle. The uh, 
launch vehicle digital computer uh, is now actively guiding our vehicle, our pitch program, which slowly pitched our vehicle over about a half a degree per second, ended uh, just before staging. We're now in iterative guidance mode one, updating our heading every two seconds, and we're homing in for our target in space at this time. Dynamics reports trajectory is go. Uh, our vehicle now 80 nautical miles in altitude, uh, 260 nautical miles downrange. Because of noisy data, we were not able to confirm tower jet as the event occurred. Uh, however, our trajectory looks very, very good at this time. minutes, uh, 32 seconds. Our flight dynamics officer reports uh, we have an S-4 beat orbit uh, capability at this time. At this time, during the firing of our 5J2 engines, uh, we're seeing a propellant ratio mix of our fueled oxidizer. This uh, cutting the flow of oxidizer, uh, oxidizer provides us with a higher specific impulse. Its effect, uh, much like the overdrive in a car for better gas mileage. Still looking good at six minutes End of the flight, ECOM reports that it looks like we did get tower jet, again confirming tower jet. Mark, 6 minutes 20 seconds, uh, 92.5 nautical miles in altitude, uh, 440 nautical miles downrange. We're at approximately 60% of our desired speed for orbit at this time. Mark 6 minutes 40 seconds. Our 5J2 engine is still looking good. Uh, we should now be burning about 2,500 pounds of propellants per second. On the first stage, we expect uh, we averaged about 29,000 pounds of propellants per second. Seven minutes, uh, still looking good. Uh, 96 nautical miles in altitude, 535 nautical miles downrange. Mark, seven minutes, 20 seconds. Uh, ECOM reports our cabin pressure is now stable at six pounds per square inch, uh, that desired for orbit. Seven minutes, 45 seconds. Uh, we have a preliminary report of a loss of two engines. Uh, this would be engines two and three. However, our guidance is holding well, and we're standing by. Our hydraulics are good, reports booster. Uh, we'll stand by for further confirmation of that report. Uh, this is only a preliminary report at this time. Eight minutes, 10 seconds of the flight. reports at this time we're looking go. So we're standing by at 8 minutes 28 seconds of the flight. Our vehicle now 101 nautical miles in altitude, 780 nautical miles downrange. reports our third stage looks good uh, we're at uh, eight minutes uh, 52 seconds now into the flight our 
airtime delay for staging, uh, apparently evidence uh, of an engine out condition, uh, but we're standing by for further confirmation. Mark 9 minus 40 seconds, standing by. Our vehicle 105.7 nautical miles in altitude. 1,030 uh, nautical miles downrange. Booster uh, reports uh, S4B ignition, standing by. Flight Dynamics uh, reports that trajectory confirms ignition. seconds uh, we're standing by mark uh, 12 minutes 15 seconds our uh, predicted cutoff is moving out it's uh, 12 minutes uh, 33 seconds at this time says gu uh, guidance officer standing by Vehicle now uh, 1,600 uh, nautical miles downrange. Booster reports uh, shut down of our third stage.